Okay, so still working on Coast Guard, this arm across body series. Um, we're going to look at Shane makes a reaction of that pendulum sweep. We're going to transition into cross guard. So from here, Shane's made his basic grip. I'm going to get the cross grip, come underneath, pull with my legs to break that grip. Get the outside control of my wrist, pull his arm across, hip escape, and then I just fill that space with my body. So his um, right arm is trapped, I glued my chest to his tricep, then we looked at the pendulum sweep. So again, I'm letting go of the sleeve, I'm underhooking the leg, and when I open my legs, I'm kicking out, and this time, um, a reaction shake can do is he can post, this way he's posted his right leg in the mat. If he posts his right leg in the mat, but it's more just um, up at this angle, it's not all the way up, I will still hit the sweep. But if he's actually posts his leg up and his thigh is corralling the back of my hamstring from here, we need to switch to another um, pathway. So we're going to look at cross guard from here. So the underhook hand, the left hand, is just going to underhook Shea's leg. And then my right hand was underhooking his leg, is going to come across and make a grip on the sleeve. So I'm ending up in this position. Now, again, I want to be controlling um, Shea's posture. I don't want Shea, I, I, need, I need to keep angle. I don't want now Shea being able to turn to face me. Yeah. So I'm making, making a wedge. My knee is coming through and I'm going to place it on his right shoulder, um, beside his right ear. And now I want to control his posture, so this leg that's over the hip is going to come across and I'm just going to clamp down with my heel on his head. The, the, the beauty about it is I can keep my angle with this underhook. Notice the way I'm perpendicular to Shea, I'm looking into his right ear. He tries to face me from here, very, very difficult with this control. He tries to posture, that's perfect time. And, and that's really the, the two pathways he can do. He can turn to face me, or he can posture, or he can stand up. We'll look at that as well. The minute he tries to posture, I just go with him, and then I'm just pushing his wrist into my, into my left pocket. So option one from here is, I'm just going straight into the omoplata. So again, from, that, from our position, I want to be putting weight on Shea. So I'm using him as a crutch. Control the tricep, bring my leg back. Make that pressure behind the elbow, and then I'm just leaning forward. Get a angle on it. So, from close guard, find that grip, break the posture, outside control, bring it across. And when I sit up, I've cut an angle and I glue my chest to his arm. So, if she tries to pull his right arm out, it's going to be difficult. Notice the way I have angle. And now from here, I'm heading straight into that pendulum sweep. So he just let go under hook, but now his reaction is to stick his leg out. Once he sticks that leg out, from here, I'm letting go, finding the sleeve. I don't want him pulling that arm back. And then I under hook the leg. Once I under hook the leg, I don't want him turning to face me. So my knee comes in front, and I'm just clamping down, making a wedge here. So a couple of different pathways. We'll look at the arm bar in the next move. Even uh, from here, if he just postures but stays on his knees, I'm just stepping that across, and now I'm kicking straight out into the omoplata. So again, I've found that far sleeve, leg press, and now from there I make Shea carry my weight, all my weights on the shoulder line. So again, I'm um, curling my leg back, going on my toes, making the wedge, so my thigh is behind his elbow, and now from there I'm just leaning forward to get the top. Let's look if he's standing now, from the, or he tries to get to his feet from that position, which would be another response. So I've got the cross grip, break that grip, pull it across, this arm across body series. It's all set up with that pendulum sweep. Shea puts that leg up. The first grip lets go and finds the sleeve. The second one underhooks. I'm going to bring my knee in front and I'm clamping down. So this time Shea goes to stand up. The minute he stands up, I'm still looking for the omoplata, but we're going to turn it into the sweep instead. So again, I cross my ankles, I leg press down, and I'm going to roll him over his right shoulder. Again, taking advantage of um, this omoplata mount. So again, 
I find the tricep, put my hand beside his hip. I'm staying away from his legs. Another common thing he can do is reach up with his legs and cross them around my body. Like a spaghetti guard, we don't want that. So my hands here, if he tries to do that now, I've made a wedge. From there, I'm just back stepping. Pulling that knee up. Lots of different things we can do from this position. I can turn into a, a team or a, a, a team mount position. I can reach back, start to work um, the shoulder lock from there, or the wrist lock, or the chimera, or just from that position. Anytime I want to re go into the omoplata, I'll just retake him this way. And it's super tight this time because I've got him nearly flattened out. Now we have that again. Let's just take a look on that side bro. Right there. So we're here. You bring that arm across, fill that space, hit the pendulum sweep, he sticks his leg out. So the first grip will be letting go with my hand was on the leg and just making a grip on that sleeve, just to keep him at that angle. And then I underhook the leg. Bring my knee in front and I clamp down. A reaction for him is to stand up. The minute he stands up, I just still keep bringing it across. And now I'm, I'm just gonna focus on the sweep, on the sweep rather than the submission. Just leg press. The other thing I wanna be thinking about when I sweep him is I want this knee on the inside. So now from there, I don't really want it out here. So my knee's on the inside and now I can just bring him straight over. From there, control the elbow. I wanna take advantage. Of, of the omoplata mount. Sometimes when you back step into um, look for the the T mount sequence or um, re omoplatoing, she might I want to get my knee beside here. He might start pushing that away with his hand. So another one we looked at was that shotgun armbar. I can just find this, bring this across. And now we're straight into the Chuji. So two pathways there, um, we have the from cross guard, we have the omoplata or the omoplata sweep.